The road to success isn't always paved. It's a route full of ups and downs. It's a wild ride off the beaten track. Seven days, 600 kilometers, more than 19,000 meters vertical ascent. This is Bike Transalp. It's a legendary race. It's a classic amongst the mountain bike marathons. It's a tough ride across the Alps. 1,000 participants from 40 countries take on the vigorous challenge of crossing the Alps on their mountain bikes. Seven stages, three countries, relentless climbs and breathtaking downhills. The Bike Transalp is a must-do mountain bike race for pros and ambitious amateurs alike. It's the stage race with the longest history and you can't copy the Alps. You can, can copy the uh, idea of a, uh, of a stage race, but you can't copy the Alps. It's not possible. The 2015 edition of the Bike Transalp took off in Ruhpolding in southern Germany. Participants of the legendary race compete in teams of two. Only the second rider to arrive at the finish line will determine the team's stage time. Stage one already showed what the mountains had in store for the cyclists. But this was only the beginning. Europe in general is a fantastic place to race as a professional cyclist, but um, you know the, the Transalp is really an opportunity to see something much bigger. When you get into a multi-day stage race, it just adds so much more um, real-life adventure to it. So it's really what we'd want to be doing on our own, but uh, you get to do it with a whole bunch of your other friends. Stunning, really stunning. I'm really glad we got such great weather today to be able to see what these mountains have for us and um, to be able to appreciate the beauty on the bike is there's there's no better way. Team Bulls were to make the first move out on the trails and took the first stage win of the 2015 Bike Transalp. I feel uh, absolutely amazing because uh, yeah, we weren't that lucky uh, in the beginning of, uh, of the year and uh, yeah, then we decided uh, to put uh, all the concentration on the Transalp and uh, yeah, to finish the first stage uh, with a stage win. I mean, it can't be any better. Karl Platt from Germany. Mr. Bike Transalp. Platt is the living legend of the race. The 37-year-old head of Team Bulls won the Bike Transalp seven times out of 15 appearances. There is no other rider with such a track record out there, and there probably won't be for a long time. Yeah, I mean, the Alps are amazing. Uh, the Alps are special. I mean, you, you can't find uh, any, uh, any place like that in the world. Uh, it's uh, really unique and um, 
and the fascination to, to cross over the Alps on the mountain bike, uh, it is uh, really special. And that, maybe that's why I'm always coming back. And uh, yeah, and uh, I love the competition. I'm a professional racer and uh, it's always fun to race against the best uh, guys in the world. You love the trail, you love the riding, and I think I will uh, still ride my bicycle till I'm super old, if I get old. <laughs> yeah, but uh, it's a kind of a lifestyle, and that's the motivation. And if you still can win some stages or be in front with the top uh, guys of the world, it's motivation enough. Plat is teamed up with Swiss mountain bike pro Urs Huber. Team Bulls is always to be counted on when it comes to the favourites. Experience might be their key advantage to create the decisive edge. Yeah, definitely Carl is a legend of the Transalp. Um, and uh, we will try to win it this year the first time together. I won it also once and he seven times and uh, now we will try to make it together. Um, yeah, but... Uh, <laughs> We tried it already two times and uh, we can never made it, so I hope we can make it this year. Stage 2, Austria, Saalfelden to Mittersil. Things were to get serious. 64 kilometers, 2,400 vertical meters. A five-star stage to put the participants to the first major test. It's just unrelenting steep. You've just got to grind it out. And you know, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, you just take the, take the 100 meters off. It kind of went up to, I think, just over 2,000 meters. Um, the track across the top was superb, was beautiful panoramic view. Um, it was on the level, really tight single track rocks and all that kind of stuff. So that was really good. Um, and again, a really fast descent down to the valley. And again, it was Team Bulls to fly across the finish line first. It was uh, a harder stage than yesterday. It was uh, more climbing, but uh, we can uh, repeat the win again and we are super happy. Marcus Kaufmann and Jochen Kays, Team Centurion VD1. The two Germans are without doubt the ones to watch out for when it comes to the overall victory. Kaufmann and Kays won the last two bike trans out races. This year, they're aiming for the hat trick. Yeah, this was natürlich eine besondere Ehre. Um, letztes Jahr haben wir uns ja den Titel wiederholt. Das hat vorher wohl auch noch nie jemand geschafft. Und dreimal hintereinander zu gewinnen, das wäre, ja, würde in Geschichtsbücher eingehen. Das muss man erst mal jemand wiederholen. Und ja, wir sind guter Dinge. Und wir fühlen uns beide stark, sind gut vorbereitet. Und ja, wird ein heißes Rennen. Jochen und ich, wir fahren jetzt ja, seit drei Jahren zusammen Etappenrennen und verstehen uns einfach blind. Wir, wir müssen nicht viel miteinander reden im Rennen und ja, wir funktionieren einfach perfekt zusammen. Ja klar kann man sagen, nach zweimal ähm, jetzt ist gut, aber wir sind Rennfahrer, wir wollen Rennen gewinnen, deshalb machen wir das Ganze und natürlich ein drittes Mal zu gewinnen, äh, wie vorher schon erwähnt, das wird, glaube ich, in die Geschichtsbücher eingehen und das ist unser großes Ziel dieses Jahr, das zu erreichen und dann wird man, glaube ich, ja, eine ganz große Marke setzen im, im Rennsport. Stage 3, the Queen stage of the 2015 by Transalp, running through Austria from Mittersil to Cilian.
118 kilometers with 3,600 vertical meters to climb. So if you start at Mittersil and go towards south, there's a main ridge uh, very close. So you only go up, 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 up to 2,500 meters. In the end, you have to carry your bike for 300. And then you're on the uh, border from, uh, from Salzburg to Tirol, south, uh, east Tirol, and that's the main ridge. And then it's going down again. It was beautiful, but also really hard and challenging and long, very long and very hot. Team Centurion found they won were the ones to attack on the Queen stage and managed to take their first stage win of 2015. Yeah, we are really happy. Our plan was today to attack in the long uh, uphill, the first long uphill, and uh, yeah, that, that was great. We have a four minutes gap then, and now we are on, on the yellow jersey, so yeah, everything is perfect. Alban Lakata, the Albanator, the man of the moment. Lakata just won the World Championship title of Mountain Bike Marathon prior to the Bike Transalp. Thus, Lakata is the guy who everybody wants a piece of. Always in the spotlight, always under pressure to perform to the max. For me, this was my major goal this season to win the world title. And that I actually won it, I'm, I'm really happy about it. But still, now we are in a, in a different race, in a, in a Transalp, and um, everyone wants to be the world champion, and it's a lot of pressure, I would say, yeah. Every race I, I will win in this jersey um, will even prove that I'm, I'm really a world champion. And, this is the, the second race what I have done now um, after the world's title and um, it's, it's a really a special feeling but every time I will enjoy it more to, to be in this rainbow jersey. Yeah. I won it once but um, I think as far as I know Christian, my teammate, haven't won it yet. So for, for, just for doing it for him it would be nice. Stage four, Cilian, Austria, to Alleghe, Italy. The field entered the spectacular massives of the Dolomites and was rewarded with overwhelming views on the day after the Queen stage. At the height of about 2,000 meters, uh, there was a nice scenery, the, the mountains opened up, you had like an amphitheater, rocks everywhere, beautiful uh, peaks, and that's what Transalp is all about. Probably my favorite stage so far actually. A lot of climbing in the beginning and I love to climb. The last bit of single track is just amazing, like, just proper proper, you know, hard single track. Just amazing, just on and on. World champion Alban Lakata and his teammate Christian Hunek came out on top of stage four, proving their ambitions for the overall ranking. 
Yeah, we're feeling great. Sure, it was uh, one goal to win the stage, but actually, it was our big, uh, the bigger goal was to win the overall. Um, it's still not over. Still, um, a pretty far way to go, and it can happen a lot. But um, today we made our stage win, and uh, we also get some time back in the GC. So that um, was a pretty good day out there. Barbara Lea Day, Stephanie Gutknecht and their entourage. On their way across the Alps, the Swiss-German duo is hugely supported by their family members. Stephanie and Barbara enjoy the luxury of a motorhome escort. My brother actually takes care of everything, uh, cleaning the, <laughs> the bathroom, uh, uh, filling up the water and everything. So we really can concentrate on the race and he really takes great care of us. Oui, effectivement, de courir à deux comme ça, c'est pas facile, c'est pas quelque chose qu'on a l'habitude de faire. Et puis, mais entre nous, ça fonctionne assez bien. Parfois, c'est elle qui est plus forte, parfois, c'est moi qui suis plus forte. Ça dépend un peu les, la pente que c'est ou euh, le chemin que c'est. Mais on arrive à bien s'arranger ensemble comme ça. Last year, we tried it together the first time with Stephanie. Unfortunately, this time it was me who was ill. And uh, so we, I had to give up and we didn't finish together. And this year we said, okay, this is our year. Uh, we really want to do it again and um, finish third. This is the big goal and we will see. We're on the best way to that goal, but many things can happen. Stage 5, Italy, a legge to San Martino di Castrozza. A spicy ride over 73 kilometers with more than 3,000 vertical meters. Once again, the full skill set of mountain biking was required. Bit of everything today, yeah, a bit of everything. Gravel roads, um, asphalt roads, single trail through the forest. Um, the descent down to the from the finish was mad. Like first of all, you're on gravel, then we're on uh, road, and then we go into these crazy tracks, and <laughs> like that, it's mad. Stage five brought new faces to the list of stage winners. Team Centurion Faude 2 managed to work away from the pack and win their first stage of the 2015 Bike Trans Alp. We are really happy, we are really motivated for today to make a good result and yeah, the stage win is, is super cool for us. Dax Heikel from Costa Rica. Those climbs, those views up in the mountains, those long climbs, you know, that you feel like they are never ending. It, it only happens here, you know. For me, I have come many times, you know, and this time I, I enjoyed it as the first time that I came. I got uh, struck by a really big car. It only took my leg off. I didn't die. The rest of me was okay. I didn't have nothing in my head, nothing in the rest of the body. So f since the very moment that I had the crash, it really hurt a lot. So they put some painkillers on me and after that, it was all smiles. 
I was alive, I was okay, I could get my life back and the support of my wife was absolutely the best. And after that happened, I only thought to myself, okay, I need to get back first to walk, first to a normal life and then back to on, on, on the bike. When I lost the leg in 2003, uh, two very close friends of mine were preparing for the race. So when I had the accident, I was at the hospital and I got a lot of feedback from them as they were preparing. Uh, they were so, so amazed by the race that I want to do. So I thought to myself at that time, okay, once I get, get up, put my leg back on, onto me, I want to do a trans up challenge, mainly, you know, a really tough challenge to test how good I could recover from the accident. It's something that you, you have to earn after seven days. You know, it's not something that you can buy, not poor people, not rich people can buy it. They have to earn it through those seven days, through the mountains, through the downhills. So it's something that when, when you come close to the finish line, you know, it's, it's a feeling, it's, uh, it's, it's very emotional. And when you cross the line, it's something that fills your heart, it fills your soul. It's, it's very emotional. Stage 6, Italy, San Martino di Gastrozza, the Levicio Terme, the penultimate stage of the 2015 Bike Trans Alp. It was just about time for the top teams to bring themselves into the position to take it all in the end. Team Centurion Faude 1 emphasized their ambitions to get that hat-trick and won Stage 6 with ease. Yeah, we forced the tempo after the start and we have a gap to the other teams. It was our tactic to go as first team in the downhill and it works. Yeah, they, they were riding uh, really well uh, over all the days. They were pretty consistent and good tactics. Well, we had nothing left for, for the guys. So yeah, it's a little bit disappointing, but that's racing. Day seven of the bike trans -out. It was time for the final showdown. There were still three contenders for the overall title. Team Bulls. Top Peak Ergon Racing. and Centurion Faude 1. In the end, Centurion Faude 1 made it happen. They stayed in the lead. They took that hat trick. Transalp history in the making. Yeah, that was the third win in the history, uh, and we are absolutely happy. Team Bulls finished second in the overall ranking. We are really happy. I mean, the first four teams were 
within five or six minutes over seven days and uh, close to 650 kilometers. So yeah, it couldn't be more exciting like today and uh, we are very happy to survive uh, and uh, bring back the second place. Third place, Team Topic Aircon Racing. In a way it's kind of a disappointment because we for sure we came for uh, the overall win. But uh, yeah, in the end, I mean, we took two stage wins, a couple of uh, other podiums. So it was not a bad race at all. But uh, yeah, and the Valdi guys were strong. They deserve it. And I think we, we enjoyed it. And now we are really, really glad we are here in Riva.